Hello and welcome to Universal Flashbacks, an LS11 Universe Patreon exclusive series. I'm your host, Xander, and this is a story that's never been told before. The way Universal Flashbacks works is we take a story that almost happened, or did happen, in the previously cancelled LS11 Universe that ran from 2014 all the way through 2018, and we give it life on a new and updated game. So, without any further ado, let's get into today's story. Today's story is not an easy one to tell. This story comes two days after the unfortunate passing of John Hubber, formerly known as Brody Lee and Luke Harper. This is also not the normal way that Universal Flashbacks works, as we are not looking back at the old universe, but instead are looking at a story that we almost did this season. This story is of the AEW Invasion. It's a story that you can hear on the LS11 podcast on Patreon, but this episode we've decided to make free to honor the life, fans, friends, and family of John Hubber. It doesn't feel right putting a tribute behind a paywall. So let's talk about his story. The invasion would have started the night after WrestleMania of Season 1. AEW would have began to invade NXT, and at the first takeover, Winner take all, AEW would have won the majority of the matches with the likes of Kenny Omega vs. AJ Styles, Triple H vs. Cody, Hangman Page vs. Roderick Strong, SCU vs. The Undisputed Era, B. Priestley vs. Candice LeRae, Pac vs. Ricochet, and a few other matches all happening on that show. AEW, of course, winning the majority and taking over NXT. The Wednesday episodes would have become AEW for the time being, and then AEW would have began to invade Raw and SmackDown as well. You'd have seen stars like Chris Jericho, Cody, the Young Bucks, and most importantly, Brody Lee invading Raw and SmackDown. With the Dark Order by his side, the Exalted One would capture the World Heavyweight Championship from then-champion Tommaso Ciampa, and he would go on to have a dominant run with it. The Dark Order would also capture the SmackDown Tag Team Championships from then-champions Beer Money Inc., who would then drop them to the reunited DIY, Gargano and Ciampa patching up their friendship after uniting against the Dark Order. This rivalry between WWE and AEW would be coming to a head at SummerSlam and AEW All-In, which would take the place of TakeOver Brooklyn. At All-In, NXT would fight for their show and would regain the Wednesday show, winning back most of the championships and winning just by one point. And then at SummerSlam, the matchup would go down. A nine matchup series between WWE and AEW. If WWE wins, the AEW roster go back to their own show and they leave Universe Mode. If AEW wins, then all of the AEW stars get contracts and would have joined the Universe Mode roster. The main events of SummerSlam, the score tied 4-4, four four. World Heavyweight Champion Brody Lee representing AEW against WWE's last soldier, The Undertaker. This is what that match would have been. So, in loving memory of John Huber the man, let's take a look at his biggest match that never was. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, the main event of SummerSlam. The scores are four to four. And remember, with this World Heavyweight Championship belt, the winner determines which side wins. If Undertaker wins, then WWE reigns supreme. And WWE get their shows back. AEW must leave. But if AEW's World Champion Brody Lee gets the win, then the AEW roster will all be merged into the Universe Mode rosters. It's a big matchup, Ray. Xander, we have seen so much action already tonight. We have seen brothers fight each other. We have seen old rivals go head-to-head. -head. Protégés fighting mentors. Bro friends fighting friends. Indie stars fighting one another. But tonight, we get to see the Den Man, the Undertaker, the very essence of WWE itself go against one of the biggest stars in the history of AEW in Brody Lee. You're right about that. The Undertaker really could be considered the last soldier 
for WWE in this fight. You should be more than good the job done. When you talk to anyone in the back and ask them who they respect most in the WWE, the answer is always the same. It's this man, the dead man, the Undertaker. You were very, very right about that. The Undertaker looking to reclaim his yard, looking to run AEW out of WWE. It's been an insane night. It's been an insane war between these two companies. And tonight is the night that it all comes to an end. Undertaker is in a situation right now. I don't think anyone's ever been in this situation before. The fate of WWE lies entirely on The Undertaker. That it does. Remember, just last night at AEW All In, the NXT stars reclaimed their Wednesday night show. So this Wednesday, we will be back to NXT for Universe Mode. But the question is, will we still have a North American champion and tag team champion? Because if the AEW stars are fired, then any championships they hold become vacant. But then again, Xander, after tonight, if Brody Lee can beat Undertaker, one of the hardest challenges to ever do in the wrestling business, he will save AEW and everyone will get full-time deals. You're right about that. We've already seen the Dark Order trying to take over SmackDown. Well, with the Dark Order, here is their exalted one. Brody Lee, a man once known as Luke Harper, comes down here tonight, the biggest challenge anyone can ever face, beating The Undertaker in the middle of the ring. The only thing that would make this an even bigger challenge is if this were at WrestleMania. But tonight it's SummerSlam. Lee holds the world title high above his head. Brody but Lee, of course, with the assistance of the Dark Order, captured that championship just a month ago. One could argue that the pressure of this match, Sander, is equal to WrestleMania. Because if Brody Lee loses, it's not just him. It's everyone in the back. It's all of the Dark Order. It's all of the AEW roster is gone. Right. I mean, just look at the look at the star power AEW has brought to Universe Mode. You've got the Inner Circle with Jericho, Guevara, Santana, Ortiz, and Hager. You've got MJF and Wardlow. You've got Brody Lee and the Dark Order. You've got the Bucks, Omega, Hangman. Well, Cody, Cody as well, of course. The wild card of AEW arriving in universe mode. The man nobody thought we would see in this invasion. C.M. Punk. And, to, and let's not forget <clears throat> what Brody Lee is coming off of. Brody Lee is coming off of a win against one of the most brutal champions we have ever seen in Tommaso Ciampa. Absolutely right. Tommaso Ciampa, one of the best win-loss records of any full-time superstar in universe mode. Champa, you can still count the number of times he's been pinned or submitted on one hand as the challenger from Death Valley weighing in at 299 pounds. The Undertaker! The dead man cometh tonight. And his opponent from Rochester, New York. Weighing in at 287 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, the Exalted One, Brody Lee. This is it. It all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen. The score stands 4-2-4. Four four. One man will leave here tonight with that final point and save the promotion that they represent. Will it be Undertaker representing the WWE or will it be Brody Lee representing AEW? Let's go! Yeah, they lock up immediately. 
And Brody, oh, look at this, overpowering The Undertaker. We have not seen many people do this in The Undertaker's insane 35-year career. Brody, right hand from Brody. Shot, taking every shot you can. It's very important against The Undertaker. But well, Undertaker now forcing Brody Lee up against the post. The Undertaker one. showing that old man is no... He's no slouch in the ring, especially when it comes to him. Oh, oh, Brody Lee with the stun gun. Knocked him into the ropes. Brody with a right hand. <clears throat> Lee, no, the dead man. They call The Undertaker the best pure striker for a reason. That big boot comes into play once again. Now, Xander, you have to think about this as well. Brody Lee he was once known as Luke Harper and was led by Bray Wyatt who he himself has tried to defeat The Undertaker on several occasions and been unsuccessful. You're absolutely right about that, Ray. Brody Lee, once a follower, now considers himself a leader as he just elbowed The Undertaker in the face. Oh, look at that. Went for a big clothesline super kick. Knocks The Undertaker in the corner, clotheslines him. Down goes the dead man into a cover. Talk about that pure striking. Kick out from Brody Lee is no, is no slouch himself when it comes to the striking game. That was a beautiful combination from Brody there, as Brody now comes off the rope, super kick again to the dead man. Here's the thing about Brody Lee, he's a big man, but he moves like a cruiserweight. Oftentimes compared to The Undertaker in that way, because in his early days, Undertaker was thought to be very, very flexible for his size. He's now <clears throat> to recover, Brody kicks out at one. This is a huge matchup tonight. As we both said, the fate of Universe Mode lays in the balance as Undertaker with that big punch there knocked Brody onto his back. Now Undertaker picks him up, but Brody sweeps the leg. Brody Lee with a left. And Undertaker grabs him. Undertaker takes down the exalted one and grabs him by the neck. We need to get that neck crank in. Brody Lee now getting back to his feet. Right hand. And another. He and knocks the Undertaker back and Undertaker flows lines up. When someone attacks your neck, it affects everything else in the body. There's that vintage pose of the Undertaker as the Exalted One has pulled himself into the corner. Now he's putting his boot into the face of Brody Lee. Now Brody back to his feet. Right hand. Undertaker went for a boot, but Brody caught him with an uppercut. Oh, went for the super kick. Taker sidestepped him. Oh, here we go. The Exalted One's going for the ride. Undertaker's just given Brody Lee a hell of a choke slam. And now he's going to go for the cover. Will it be over? Does somebody win the... Oh, no. Oh, my. did one. Undertaker thought he had just won the war for WWE. But Brody Lee kicked out. Here we go. Two cell pile driver. No, Brody counters. Discus close line. And that one, two, and no! That move is what Brody Lee won the World Heavyweight Championship with. And that's something Undertaker has to telegraph going forward in this match. The thing about the discus clothesline, it can come from anywhere and you never know if it is. Now Undertaker into a cover, but Brody Lee kicks out. And now Undertaker, oh, just puts his boot in the neck of Brody Lee. Now Taker kicks him in the back, and Undertaker turns him over. The dead man, standing over the exalted one who gets down to one knee, but he's back to his feet. There have been many comparisons, Ray, between Brody Lee's Dark Order and the Ministry of Darkness that the Undertaker once led. There's a super kick from Brody. Now Brody Lee throws him in the corner, and Brody Lee now doing the same to Undertaker with a boot in the dead man's face. A flexibility coming into play again for Brody Lee. Drives his knee in the face of the Undertaker. And now Brody picks him back up to his feet. Brody Lee. Oh, what the? Hang on. Brody Sister Lee. Abigail. Abigail. Brody Lee is just hit Sister Abby on the Undertaker. One. Then there's the two. And then there's the. No! The Undertaker just kicked out of Sister Abigail. A move that Bray Wyatt, the original mentor of Brody Lee, once used to effect him. And now the Undertaker trying to fight back. He grabs him and a sidewalk slam takes down Brody Lee. And now Brody is down. The dead man. Oh, he's looking to rise again. 
Brody's starting to struggle back to his feet. Undertaker catches him. And now the Undertaker throws Lee into the corner. Brody Lee in trouble. Clothesline from the Undertaker. Taker now scoops him up. Undertaker building some momentum here. Coming off the ropes. There's Big the boot. boot. Here comes the leg drop. Whoa, Brody out of the leg. And that, oh, right on the tailbone there for the Undertaker. <laughs> oh, into a super kick by Brody Lee. Now Brody picks the dead man up again, and Brody Lee throws him off the turnbuckle. Oh, went for a kick. Sends a fury from Brody Lee. You were talking earlier about Brody Lee, how he moves like a cruiserweight, and oh my, ooh! Takes down Undertaker into another cover. De dead man in trouble. One, two, no. Now Undertaker being worked over the neck by Brody. Brody Lee now wrenching back the neck of The Undertaker. And now The Undertaker getting back to his feet with a right hand to Brody Lee. And another in the face. And now Undertaker, oh, another big clothesline takes Brody Lee off his feet into a cover. There's one. There's two, no. Another kick out from the exalted one. Undertaker now picks Brody back up to his feet. Brody, uppercut. Right hand knocks back the dead man, and another staggers him. And the third, no, Undertaker counter. And there's a clothesline again. You can see there, Ray Brody Lee was trying to escape the ring, but the Undertaker's stopping him. He stopped the Dennis tracks, but Brody, ooh, with a right to the eyes. There was the Undertaker off the turnbuckle, into another super kick. Brody Lee utilizing those super kicks tonight. We saw plenty of those in the champions versus champions match earlier between DIY and the Young Bucks as now the Undertaker into a cover on Brody Lee. One, two, no, Brody Lee kicks out. For some reason, Undertaker just cannot seem to telegraph that super kick that comes from Brody Lee. Brody now, oh, look at this, choking the dead man in the ropes. Oh, that'll do some damage to your, to your throat there. Brody Lee with the eye race, the rope, he is more than willing to be a little unethical to okay. win the, to win for AW oh. Nightmare. Undertaker! Oh my, oh my god! Tombstone! He's got Brody in the ropes. Oh, but Brody's going to be in the ropes. The referee calls the break. Well, if you just move away from the ropes, Undertaker, you might have him. Ooh, and Undertaker now stomp me on the skull of Lee. Oh. Brody was showing... Brody was showing that he was still awake, still in this one. But now Brody Lee goes down, an elbow drop from The Undertaker. Now Undertaker with Brody Lee in a seated position, working over the neck. Brody Lee is in trouble. Brody getting back to his feet, right hand to the ribs, and to the face of The Undertaker. Brody Lee, oh, they collide. Kick to the ribs. Brody Lee with a right hand to the back of The Undertaker. And now Brody. Picks the Undertaker back to his feet. Brody Lee, well, tries to scoop him up, but Undertaker countered. Leaping clothesline. He's still got it. Undertaker, as, as Undertaker. he has ever been in WWE. And now Undertaker. Kick to the ribs of Brody Lee. DDT. Undertaker into a cover. One, no. Undertaker not able to put him away there. Right hand. Brody Lee in trouble. Undertaker with Brody Lee. Head first into the turnbuckle. And again. And again and again and again and again and again. Just repeatedly slamming the exalted one off of the turnbuckle. There's a kick to the back from Undertaker. Oh, wait a minute. Brody Lee just used the Undertaker's own strategy against him. Discus clothesline. line. He's going to out under the Undertaker. Undertaker. Maybe, the, maybe the Exalted One can, but no! Oh. Undertaker kicked out. And Brody Lee surveying his opponent right now. And now Brody Lee standing over the dead man. Undertaker is down. Brody, knee into the ribs. And another discus closed line. Look at the Undertaker folded like an accordion. The Undertaker 
like I said, that discus clothesline can come from anywhere and it hits hard. This is it. One. It must be over. Two. 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 What the no. hell? No. Brody Lee what? has still not been able to put the dead man down. The Undertaker here tonight has just. Oh, that was all basically pure instinct. Undertaker with a back body drop kick to the back of Brody. Oh, the straps are coming down. You know, that means that he's reaching the final form, Sam. Oh, yes. <laughs> Undertaker is a dangerous, dangerous man. He grabs Brody. Undertaker throws him over the top. Undertaker. No, Brody rams his shoulder into the Undertaker. Sunset flip. Cover on the dead man. Cover. One. Two. No. Undertaker kicks out. Oh. Well, you can't outdo the original Brody. Undertaker, with a back body drop, takes down the exalted one. Here we go. Cuts the throat. Says it's over. Tomb. Stone. Brody's kicking. Brody's kicking. No way. Is Brody Lee going to... Is he going to... He jumps down to pile driver. Insult to injury. Pinning him the way Undertaker would have pinned him. Two. Undertaker kicked out. And now Brody is standing over The Undertaker again. Picks him back up. Brody Lee in the face of The Undertaker now. Oh, Undertaker counters. Oh, and Brody's going for the ride. Oh, he counters. Brody Lee once again countering The Undertaker. Undertaker have a really hard time mounting offense in, this, in the later stages of the match. Undertaker knocks back into the ropes by Brody Lee. Brody Lee grabs him. Oh, again, got to choke the dead man out in the ropes. And he whips him off the ropes again. Xander, both these men are willing to do unethical things to win the match. This isn't a wrestling match. This is a war. And this is the final battle that will decide the victor. So now Brody Lee, whoa, runs into the Undertaker. Who catches him? Taker's got him up, potentially. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Undertaker. Xander, this is the first time this match has gone to the outside. It is, as The Undertaker just hurled Brody Lee to the outside, throws him back into the ring. Brody Lee back to his feet now. Brody off the ropes. Oh, they collide again. And now Brody, no, Undertaker counters. Undertaker's got him by the throat again. Brody Lee elbows Brody the dead man the the big into a big boot. Brody Lee with a big boot to The Undertaker. Knee to the ribs. Discus clothesline. Close That's got to be all she wrote. It's got to be over now. Brody oh, Lee is one. The war is over, ladies and gentlemen. One, one two, two, three. three. Brody Lee has won the war for AEW. They all get contracts. They all get to stay in the biggest wrestling corporation in the world thanks to this war that we just saw Brody Lee go through. Brody Lee tonight just, he defeated The Undertaker in the middle of the ring, something very few men can ever claim to do. Brody Lee saves the day. AEW and WWE are now one. The rosters have gotten huge. The Dark Order reigns supreme in universe mode. No love lost tonight. Your winner and still the world heavyweight champion, the exalted one, Mr. Brody Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, what a night of fantastic action. What a way to close it off. Just an instant classic of a match. This video is dedicated to John Huber, his family, his friends, his loved ones, and his fans.